Yo, what guys? It's Welsh Andy SC here, bringing you another video into the Manch Mode Show career. What I want to mention straight off, guys, just before we get into the episode, is that um, I am currently uh, going to be live streaming, so be sure to head on over to Welsh Dragon DSG on Twitch, and we should uh, have a few live streams. No online at the moment, but we will like have a few UT matches, so we should head on over to that. In our first game, guys, we have got uh, Atletico, a 90% Atletico club or something like that in uh, Euro League. So in this game it was kind of them in the first half. It was kind of they well for the majority of the game. Uh, they constantly pushed us back. We were struggling throughout the whole thing um, and whatnot. So you can see here they coming through again on the 60th minute now and they come through lovely pass. They broke up on defense. So we got fairly lucky to totally be honest with it. Right? I'm not gonna lie. But then in the 72nd minute now um, Sam now goes for the shot and very unfortunate. Basically, the odds were like um, they would have five shots and then we would have one. It was kind of like that. Ah, but by here, Sam slotted home and it's a brilliant goal in the 83rd minute. Perfect timing. I was thinking, great. Uh, we know how uh, FIFA kind of scripted a little bit, but we do make a free sub Solozano Rojas and someone else actually coming on. Speaking of Solozano, he does score in the 90, 86th minute. So, straight after we bring the subs on, he does end up scoring. So, pretty awesome. Great fresh legs. We broke open near defense. 90th minute now. Mario Suarez on the ball. Very unfortunate not to score. But uh, the game does finish 2-0. Really happy with that, to be honest. Didn't expect to win. Because if you actually compare it to our previous campaign, we didn't exactly do that well, if I'm totally honest with you. Uh, in our next game, which is Aston Villa against Birmingham in the Premier League, uh, we go with the same team. No, we changed the team lineup up a little bit. We do have Clark playing also such the likes of Rojas and uh, many other more players. Um, but Birmingham played well. They broke up on defence. And this is when I actually it was... Uh, a new uh, lineup of Clark and uh, Benetti. So I try and nose two out, and they didn't exactly play well together. Uh, Birmingham come at us from the start, uh, seventh minute, and they do end up making one nil. But straight after, we end up scoring straight off a corner. We did have a corner just before that, uh, so we do end up making uh, something out of it. So pretty happy there, Clark as well. I was just criticising him, does end up scoring. But uh, here is the most bizarre thing. Um, I whacked the ball, um, just like it meant to be like a little dink, and I completely. The keeper just like, well, I completely miskicked it and it hit the bar. But in the 20th minute, now we've got King on the ball and he does end up scoring with a brilliant goal. Uh, just like you all know, that's not the King from Manchester United. So and I've noticed that a lot of Kings are pretty good on this game. So January transfers is in the bag for those Kings. Uh, Rojas now, straight after 30th minute, does end up scoring. So the first half was brilliant in a, if you were from a neutral. But in my eyes, it was the biggest pain. We should have easily won this this game, well, we are, we haven't won it yet, but uh, uh, Ziggis now on the ball to uh, King again, I believe. Uh, Burke even does end up scoring. So it is like 43rd minute now. We do have Sam on the ball, pass inside the Dow, squeeze it into Solzano. Solzano slots it home, and it's a brilliant goal. First half, three or six goals in total in the first half. You don't see that every day, do you? Um, well. Most games are played on weekends, but you don't see it every day. Um, so, yeah, it, this game was a really annoying. Uh, here we are very fortunate. Uh, pretty poor defending, but what do you expect when you're going up against uh, Ziggich of his size? Uh, Birmingham as well. They are currently uh, in a uh, relegation zone, I believe. So, it's kind of bizarre how he played so bad against them. Um, it's kind of that they came out against us and uh, showed that uh, we are not... Like banking down for any team, no matter what position you're in. But we do end up uh, drawing our game. Uh, fair result on how we played, to be honest. But uh, not what we needed whatsoever. Um, you may know it was incident. I didn't know how to spell it, and there were so many different ways to spell it, so I don't know if that's correct or not. So we want to have a look at this Cicino bit. Look at this again. Whack. Kaboom. Right off the bar. You now the keeper didn't catch it. And then it, we clear it out again. Again in slow motion. Go to show you it, guys. It's really bizarre. We do uh, they chip it over. We clear it. It should have been a simple ball back. But we do belt that into the crossbar. So, guys, that's a comic question of the day. What is the most bizarre thing that's happened in your FIFA game, which you've done or the computer have uh, done? be really appreciated if you post that in the comments. 
by here you'll notice why I don't actually show the team lineup um, because of the formation and how muddled up it actually look but uh, I did forget we called the start and look at that that's my formation how it looks out when you show it on there but uh, in my head it looks completely different but uh, we are playing Wigan this is the league cap so uh, we are looking to win uh, we got did we no we won the FA Cup last year uh, got knocked out the league but we do start off really well and go 1-0 up in the 16th minute so does Anno start in again. Papa C say actually wanted to be rested. So we decided, right, let's put him out because we have got Man United after this game. So we don't want Papa C say playing um, and then he's injured or, or his fitness is not good enough for when we have a big crucial game. But a lovely ball over top, the So does Anno. And look at this, it's so close. And then we get it's just about to tap it in. And then the defender clears it off really well for us um, for them even so um, Albright then on the ball now cuts on inside passes it to Delph once again very similar technique we've used before and we do just hit it wide and at half time we do go in 1-0 uh, against Wigan Athletic in this uh, League Cup game in this uh, second half nothing much really out until this moment in time here what happened EA wouldn't let me get around the player but I hear one two pass and boom they do end up scoring in the 89th minute which bizarre me I couldn't actually get around that player but we do make some subs in the 90th minute just as we go into extra time Roger, Sam, uh, Elrich and also Cicinho and McEachern and uh, someone else coming off. But Ben on the ball now does give the Solizano. Solizano slots that into the top right hand corner, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so, yeah, guys, that is the end of this episode. We do end up winning this game in the League Cup, proceeding to the next round. I say thank you very much for watching, guys. Be sure to comment on the most bizarre thing that's happened to you on FIFA. And I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace off, guys.